Kelly, how high up can the snakes be? Two, three, or even four meters. All right, they could be up here even. Mm hmm. Nigel, Viper. Oh, yes. Good spot, Kelly. This is what we've been looking for the first time I've ever seen a Milos Viper. They get a bit larger than this, 70 centimetres or so. In the autumn, they spend a lot of time up in the trees waiting to ambush small birds like warblers that are migrating from northern Europe. Most vipers strike at prey, inject venom, wait a couple of minutes, then follow the scent trail to their food. That doesn't work up in the trees, so the Milos viper has a special technique. When it strikes at a bird, it hangs on until its venom has taken effect. If it let the bird go, it would flutter away. There'd be no scent trail to follow. This is a privilege indeed. Milos vipers are only found on four small islands in the Mediterranean. There's less than 10,000 of them left in the wild. So if we're not careful, we're going to lose this beautiful snake. <laughs>